Can we all agree this is why we live here? Oh, please. Just watch oh my it. goodness. Yeah, we feel so bad for the rest of. I know. I know we say this all the time, but right. it's so true. Oh. Even our worst weather, which we've had in recent weeks, obviously, yeah. is not that bad. Nothing like compared to what we saw. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the good news is that powerful storm system that brought all that severe weather mm -hmm. over to the middle eastern part of uh, the U.S. Yeah. has now slowly pushed out. But we're good. still left with this, these leftover showers uh, lingering with us, especially for the northeast. But, yeah, much better today. What a difference 24 hours makes. All right, so this is our Malibu camera looking toward the ocean right now. You can see it is really nice this evening. In fact, our highs today a little bit warmer than the last few days. But I just want to point out how cold it is still for the Midwest. You can see we have temperatures down into uh, the single digits, also to the teens. And then we also have temperatures uh, sub zero right now for Grand Forks, North Dakota. And then this is a look at what all the watches and warnings look like across the country, especially for the Midwest. And also for the Northeast. And this is that big, powerful, low pressure system that brought the severe weather over yesterday to the Mississippi Valley. You can see is now pushed off, and this nice line of showers also slowly pushing off the coast as we speak. But we're left with some scattered showers and also some scattered snow showers for the New England area. Otherwise, here in Southern California, it's been so quiet. It's been so nice. And I know everyone's enjoying the weekend, especially because temperatures are nice and mild. And then we also have a lot of the sunshine, very different compared to what we ended the week with. Well, this high pressure system continues to linger with us, just allowing some a few high clouds drifting overhead. But take a look at how gorgeous our mountains look right now. Six 61 degrees for our downtown LA uh, location, 63 for the Inland Empire. The mountains, as beautiful as they are, they're looking at sunny conditions with a high of 36 degrees, 62 also for the valleys. We do have that sea breeze that's lingering with us. We have some light winds across the board, but no advisories, no warnings. Again, very quiet because of this high pressure system, but things start to change once we head into the middle of the week. Take a look at this. We have a low pressure system that starts to bring in a little bit more of that rain and snow to the northern part of the state. You can see we stay pretty dry for Wednesday morning, but it looks like there's a very slight chance that we could see scattered showers, very light. And then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, maybe about a tenth of an inch or less, depending on where you live. But a better rain chance really starts to move in as we head into next weekend. And that's because this tack actually taps into some of the atmospheric moisture, some of that Pacific moisture. So more widespread rain activity expected for next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Here's a look at how we're starting the week off. So again, uh, our nice conditions this weekend starts to spill into the beginning of this upcoming week. So 64 tomorrow for the beaches. You can see gradually warming up to 65. Then that rain chance moves in by midweek, dropping temperatures down ever so slightly. And then the clouds start to fill in by the end of the week as we gear up for that next system for the weekend. Mid 60s for LA and Orange County Metro dropping to about 64 midweek. And then you can see we slowly go down to the low 60s for this upcoming weekend. Inland Empire, upper 60s. And then by the time we head into next weekend, with all that rain chance moving in, we go down to the low 60s. High deserts will go from the mid 60s to the upper 50s by the end of the week. And then our mountains will see temperatures in the mid 40s. And then we can, we're gearing up for uh, maybe some light rain, maybe some snow flurries on Wednesday. But again, much more of that rainy activity will push, push in, that is, on Saturday and Sunday. This will be a warmer system, so that's why we're expecting rain up in the mountains. Back to you guys.